Good evening. Welcome to Monsignor Pace High School. We're very happy to welcome you to our community here, uh, community of education and faith, a place where we all try to grow, not just in knowledge, but as well as in our love for the Lord and love for each other. Let us begin with a little prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God our Father, we give you praise and thanks for all of the blessings that we have received from you. We thank you for this world you have created, for the family and friends with whom we share this world. Especially, Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus, who brings us your peace and fills us with hope. Uh, thank you for our community of Monsignor Pace High School, where we learn in so many ways, in the head as well as in the heart, where we learn uh, information as well as how to love, where we learn what it means to be truly your beloved sons and daughters. Bless everyone involved with this mission here at Monsignor Pace High School. Uh, bless all of our parents and students. Bless the faculty and administration. Bless everyone and help us, by the power of your Spirit, to be empowered to be signs of your presence for each other so that we can build together this community of faith, learning, and love that you want us to be. We ask all good things, Father, as we begin this school year through Christ our Lord. We're very happy that you are a part of this community here at Pace High School. Uh, so many people for so many years, over 50 years, have been working to build this community, a place of learning, as well as a place where, where faith happens, where faith is demonstrated, where faith challenges us and empowers us to be who we are. Uh, we give thanks to God for all of the wonderful people that continue to make Monsignor Pace High School a very special place that it is. Hopefully through our program this evening you can see different aspects of our community, different aspects of our uh, learning community, so that you can understand uh, what PACE is all about and so that you can feel very comfortable here. Uh, we try to really be family for each other. It's not just an institution, it's not just a business where education happens, but it's really a community uh, where people care for each other, love each other, and in that caring and loving we grow in knowledge as well as our faith in the Lord. Uh, thank you for coming here tonight, and I hope you enjoy this evening. To the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. This is Anna Garcia. I welcome all of you to Back to School Night. Tonight is an opportunity for you to meet your child's teachers, go through all of their classes, and see what the requirements are. When you arrived, you should have walked through the plaza and picked up your child's schedule. Attached, if there was another paper attached, then that means that that was your headline code which hasn't been activated yet and we really need all of the parents to activate their parent headline code and make sure to attach it to their email. We've done this in an effort to improve communication. There are many ways we try to communicate with parents, and we want to make sure that we use every available method. Uh, one is Edline, where we can send emails to the parent emails. Uh, sometimes we send them to students, but a lot of times we send them just to the parents. Another way that we communicate with you is through school reach. So we send either a phone blast or an email uh, or a text blast to you. If you have not received the phone blast, then we need to make sure to update your phone numbers. And we, we make sure to send them to uh, cell phone numbers and the home phone number. Then we're also posting the, the phone blast on Edline. So if ever you get a phone call and you're not able to retrieve it, uh, or something happens, it's not clear, then feel free to go on Edline and it will be posted um, at the bottom under the news. In addition to all of that, we also, the counseling department does parent meetings. And those are very, very informational, and it is important that you attend those meetings. There's a lot of information that goes out. We talk about standardized testing and, and its importance. We talk about college readiness. We talk about financial aid for college and the, the stuff that needs to be filled out online. So there's a lot of information to help you navigate through the process of not just high school, but get you ready for college as well. We you know that standardized testing is very important and we work very hard to improve all of our students' test scores. Our students take the PSAT and they need to take the SAT and the ACT. 
This year, for the first time, we will be offering our ninth and 10th graders the Aspire, which is the ACT Junior, and then our students, for the first time in the whole Archdiocese of Miami, our students will be taking the ACT on our campus during a school day. There will be an additional fee for that, however, the fee will be a lot less than what the students would normally pay taking it on a Saturday somewhere. Now, in an effort to raise those scores, uh, the students are uh, going to be participating in a program through Naviance through their English and their math classes. Uh, and the English and math teachers will be helping them with the skills uh, to do, to improve their scores on these standardized tests. It'll be about 20 minutes um, a week in their English and math classes, and you'll get more information on this in your child's English and math classes tonight. Take a moment to look at your child's schedule that you picked up uh, when you came in this evening. I want you to look at look for where it says room number. This is the seventh column on your child's schedule. It is a three-digit number. The first number refers to the building. It's the 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700 buildings. The 700s are the portables. The second number is what floor? So it's either a one or a two. If it says a one, it's on the first floor. It's, if it's a two, it's on the second floor. And then the third number is the actual classroom number in that building on that floor. I want to thank you for your support over the last couple of weeks, those of you that are returning parents, for your support all the years that you have been here. Um, you know, we work together to raise kids into responsible, thinking young adults who make good decisions for life. And so thank you for your continued cooperation. I wish you a wonderful evening, a very um, inspirational and learning experience tonight. And I'm so glad that you came out this evening to meet all of your child's teachers uh, and to find out what's going on in their academic life. Uh, together, we will get them to become responsible, hardworking, well-prepared young men and women who go off to college and become very, very successful young men and women. May God bless you and your families always. Thank you.